Hi, this is Josh Willis with Raisist again. Uh, today we're just going to go over a couple of tips that are going to help you in programming a box and a, uh, an, an odd shaped box. Um, first and foremost, if you have the machine, uh, then you know by now that I'm going to drill home that you need to reference the machine before we do anything. So uh, first off, we're going to start, go to the machine, we're going to go to the touch screen. And we're going to go to referencing and we're going to select start referencing. And you know when I set your machine up uh, that I made that very clear the first thing we do before we do anything, we're going to do a referencing, let it get where it needs to be and, uh, and get happy. Uh, so once that's done, now we have a, a stone that we want to program. And what I want to show you is, uh, is I can show you how to program a simple box. Uh, however, what I'm going to show you here is a box that is actually not just a square. Uh, we don't want to blast these areas right here. There's no need for that. We really just want to blast this area and this area. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an overlapping box that creates one big irregular shape box. So the first thing that I like to do that's going to save a little bit of time um, is find out where, where my box needs to be. I can always guess with the laser light, but then I might end up cutting off a, a section. So what I'm going to do is start right here, and I know that I need to go. I need to go from here, and I have the top of Jesus's head. That's going to be here. So this X right here is going to be my first my first spot that I'm going to start from. Now, I like to use a, a sharpie to mark everything. However, um, it's up to you. Some people use stickers. You can do a red dot, and then you know, okay, uh, my first box is going to be from here to here, and it might be easier for you to see. Uh, and then you can go, you know, here so that you know where all your boxes are going to be. Uh, you can do that. Personally, I like the Sharpie, but this is just to give you uh, an idea of where your laser is going to line up from. Okay? So now that the machine's referenced, and we know, I know exactly where my my boxes, uh, my marking points are. I'm going to go over to the touch screen. And first thing I want to do is, since we've referenced it, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to define fields without leveling, right? And this is our number one uh, location for programming a, uh, a stone. So first thing I'm going to do is take the head over. I'm going to bring that light, slow it down a little bit, and bring it over to my first point. And now, kind of got it where I like it. At that point, I want to go ahead and just accept that. Right? When I hit accept, that light's going to start to flash. That flashing light tells me that it's looking for its next location. So my next spot is just going to be right down here, right there at the corner. Now, I want this to be um, one solid box. So in order to do that, if I hit accept again, okay, that's going to be one field. So that Jesus would be in one field. However, I want this one box to continue on to be one solid box rather than two separates. In order to do that, the key here is you have to overlap the boxes. So... Next step would be to basically take that head and go up and go over. So I'm overlapping the box that I just made. Now, before, before I hit uh, accept, I want to make sure I do not go to another field. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and accept that. That light's going to start flashing again. Now keep in mind, as long as I don't change from field one to field two, this is going to be one box. 
Going to go down. Make sure that's covered. And I'm going to go over. Light still flashing to my final point here. I'm going to accept that. Now, what I've done is I've taken, because I haven't switched fields, I've taken those two boxes, and because they're overlapping, that's now going to be one field. To make sure everything's correct, what I want to do is run a contour. So I'm going to go back to my touch screen, and I'm going to hit the contour button. And what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and run, and I'm going to look at my laser light to make sure that everything is inside the box. Perfect. Nice. So that is how we do a irregular shaped box. If that was a cross, we would do the same thing. We're going to uh, start at the top, go down, overlap, do the next size box, overlap, the next size box. And as long as we don't switch from field one to field two, that box will end up being whatever shape we need it to be. So uh, again, whether you use a Sharpie or stickers or you try to go for memory, those are just a quick little, uh, quick little tip to creating a irregular shaped box in one field. Once again, Josh Willis with Raisist. If you have any questions, we'd be glad to help you. Uh, website is www.raisist.com. 1-800-729-9478 uh, is our toll-free number. And again, you can email us anytime at info at